seen this sign this year. You saw tracks, you probably saw droppings, maybe even buck rubs. And if you saw scrapes, you probably had an encounter. Maybe you even harvested a deer and filled your freezer. Let me know. Um, but if you saw these things, you probably saw deer. You probably had an encounter. But bedding areas are where deer spend their daytime. And if you can't find bedding areas, it's really, really hard to harvest a whitetail. As promised at the beginning of this episode, browse damage always leads to bedding. If you can find damage on vegetation from where the deer have been browsing it, it is either leading from a bedding area or leading to a bedding area almost always. It's possible that it can be a travel corridor. We'll get into travel corridors in its own separate episode, but for the most part, heavy damage on vegetation from browsing pressure is a very good indicator of bedding areas. And personally, I use browse damage to find deer beds all the time. But it's 